Hi guys. Um, don't mind the way I look. Hair's up. Oh, it's been a doozy of a day. The freaking thing's opened. It's not supposed to be. Can you see baby girls clothes in there? Look how little they are. Anyways. Oh, this week. I'm 40 weeks. I am officially the day has come. It is my due date. Yay! <laughs> And I'm still pregnant and to be totally honest with you I did not think I was gonna make it to today I did not think I was gonna make it this far I thought for sure she was gonna come early I thought I'm gonna have a you know Weston was late she's gonna be early that's how it's gonna be no it's not you know what about three days ago I probably would have told you that I was gonna shoot myself <laughs> if I made it to this far but now I've really just kind of accepted the fact that there's nothing I can do um, you know, I'm not up for getting a medical induction, and she's going to come when she's ready, and that's how it really how it works. Your body's got to be ready, baby's got to be ready. You might think you're ready, but then you're not. So, let's start off. You guys know I have been dealing with prodomal labor since July 10th. Um, it's kind of when it slowly started, um, when I started to notice a lot of discomfort, uh, and that's when I started to like, you know, um, dilate a little bit more or whatever. So recap to my appointment this last Thursday, I was three and a half centimeters, 70% effaced. Um, my midwife said I'm nice and soft. She was able to stretch me very well. And if any of you guys have been stretched, you know that if you get a real stretch, it doesn't feel good. So when I was pregnant with Weston and I got one at 41 weeks that put me into labor, like full on labor, that I was a three and I was stretched to a four and it just kicked me right into labor. I was like, it was like my body was like, okay, let's do this. Let's get this over with. This time around, um, she did the sweep. It was very uncomfortable. It was the exact same way it felt when I got it done with Weston at 41 weeks, but I'm only 40 weeks. And, uh, she said, baby's right there like everything is ready to go she's positioned in the right way but your body has to be ready and that's really what a lot of I think people don't really understand is that you might think that you're ready you are mentally ready you're physically done being pregnant but your body has to be like I need to get this baby out now and if it's not you kind of can't really do anything I mean there's so many things that they talk about like Take castor oil, you can eat spicy food, you can have sex, you can do this, you can do that. You guys, besides castor oil, I have been taking evening primrose since 36 weeks. I have been drinking red raspberry leaf tea for the past two weeks. Um, and I'm telling you, the evening primrose has probably helped a crap ton. So if you are at the end of your pregnancy and you want to thin out or soften that cervix, I'm telling you, you got to do it. Obviously, talk to your doctor about it first, but the stuff works amazing. Um, I'm not entirely sure exactly how well the red raspberry leaf tea works because I haven't fully went into labor yet, but it's supposed to shorten your labor, tone your uterus, um, make sometimes make labor shorter and not as painful. Even though it's still painful, it's supposed to make it more... Like, it's kind of like if you were to work out a lot, um, you work out a muscle, you work out a muscle. When you go to use that muscle, it doesn't, it's not as hard to use. It's kind of like that, I guess. Um, so we'll see if the, everything works with that. Uh, but besides the castor oil, I have done it all. I've had sex. I've done everything. Um, sex really doesn't induce labor. It's the prostaglandin from the semen. If you happen to have your husband or your boyfriend, um, you know, do his business inside you. Um, but sex doesn't actually bring on labor unless you're already ready to go into labor. And to be honest, I am not interested in that right now. <laughs> I'm sore. I'm uncomfortable. I have a giant skull in between my legs. I don't want to do that. I'm done with that right now. So besides trying to get this to happen, the only other way that I was comfortable with doing it was the stretching and sweeping. So she did that. And yesterday, I would have told you, it didn't work. And late at night, around 9 o'clock, 9.30, I decided to go to bed. Um, I was just feeling very tired, and I knew that if something was going to happen in the next couple of days, I needed to get sleep because the huge, like, symptom for just week 40, and besides, you know, 
contractions and that was I'm not getting sleep. Um, and I ha I am very lucky that this entire pregnancy I've had really good sleep. I have a very good bed that we bought only a year and a half ago. I have a snoogle that is, I'm telling you guys, I did not think that a pregnancy pillow would be a big deal, but it is amazing. And I highly suggest anybody get a pregnancy pillow, not just a normal body pillow, a pregnancy pillow. They're amazing. So I... I've been sleeping with that and everything's been going great. I've had wonderful sleeps. I wake up so refreshed. Of course, I wake up to go pee, but I was always getting at least four hour stretches um, and then I'd wake up, go pee, and then I'd have another four hours. Well, <laughs> um, that's not the case anymore. And this started probably on Monday. I started to wake up every hour and it was brutal. So last night, um, of course, I knew I was going to be waking up a lot. So I woke up at 10 and I was very uncomfortable. I was having contractions. I was not having Braxton Hicks. But they were definitely true contractions. Pain in my back, pain in my uterus. I could feel it all. And I thought, okay, you know what? Maybe the sweep worked. Maybe I'm going to go into labor tonight. Husband came in bed around 11, 30, 12 o'clock and I woke up to feeling extremely uncomfortable. Um, I don't know. I woke up and I don't know if it was because I was abruptly woken up or what it was, but I could not lay in bed anymore. Um, they were very uncomfortable, but they did not feel like Weston's um, contractions. They were getting increasingly more uncomfortable and more painful. And I say painful like that because they're not necessary. These ones weren't necessarily painful. It was to the point where I was like, oh God, I couldn't imagine having to deal with this for labor like this is I don't like this feeling and the only way I can describe it is if you have the flu you feel like you're gonna have the craps and you feel like you're gonna vomit and I know that these are very good signs for labor and that labor is gonna be coming but I really didn't like the feeling and it was all in my back and it felt really weird it was actually my whole body I would say and so I went in the kitchen I had some ice cubes and I slowly started to feel better I don't know if it was something else that was bothering me I started to feel better and then instead of going back to bed, I slept on the couch and I slept for about two hours and when I woke up, I was drenched in sweat. Um, it, I live in California, but it's not very hot at night, not every night and last night, it probably got down to like 64. We had the windows open, we had fans on, it was cool in my house, it was a perfect temperature and I'm, like most people, I don't wear a lot of stuff to bed. I have like a little bralette that I go to sleep in and underwear and that's it and I was drenched I didn't even have any blankets on so I was like what the hell and this happened the last time I had this type of episode where I sweat a lot at nighttime and so I don't know what that was I still don't know what it was uh, I ended up having the ability to go back to bed and uh, I um I woke up every hour, but so I had after that, I woke up in the morning and we got ready and I said, you know what? I don't want to be home today. Let's just go out. Um, I want to just kind of not think about this anymore. I'm going to have a child. Oh, she's going to come and she's going to come and that's fine. I don't need to think about anything else. So I, uh, we went out and while we were out, I was more uncomfortable than I have ever been in this pregnancy. And I don't know what it was, but it is now gone again. So we will see what happens in the next couple days. I do have another sweep um, coming up on Monday if this one doesn't work. Um, but the wonderful thing that's going to happen soon is my mother is coming to stay with us for two weeks on Sunday. So I'm really looking forward to that. Really looking forward to, have, to having time with Weston. And uh, that's pretty much it. So... I will leave you guys with a belly shot. It's pretty much the same. Um, but I am ready to have this baby. But I know that she's going to pick her birthday. My body's going to talk to her. They're going to pick when they want to have her birthday. And that's when they're going to have it. I really hope I don't go to 41 weeks. But if I have to, I have to. Um, it is what it is. Uh, I don't want to go to 42 weeks. So when 41 weeks hits, I will have talk. I'm going to be talking with my doctor and the midwives about what I can do that isn't medically inducing 
um, instead of just naturally inducing because that's what I would rather do. So we will see. So I will talk to you guys very soon.